This is Easy Understanding with Home Tuition. Hello children. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will do exercises and question answers of chapter 2 Travelling with Grandfather Sue. So let's start. Comprehension Exercise A. Match the names with their characters. Here one side we have the names and on the second side we have the characters and we have to match them. 1. Chips. Answer is C. Squiddle. Second, Timothy. Answer is A. Tiger. Third, Popeye. Answer is B. Parrot. Answer these questions briefly. Question 1. Where was the narrator going? Answer. Narrator was going from Dehra to Lucknow. Question 2. Who were the narrator's travelling companions? What was strange about them? Answer. Grandmother, Grandfather, Chips, the Squiddle, Timothy, the Tiger, Popeye, the Parrot, and Python. The strange thing was that the family was travelling with few of their exotic and uncommon pets. Question 3. How was Timothy better behaved than most passengers? Answer. Timothy did not ask for better passenger. No stealing from vendors, no shouting at coolies, no breaking of railway property, no spitting on the platform. In this way, he behaved better than other passengers. Question 4. What happened to the family's dinner? Answer. The family's dinner was eaten by the python because somehow it had managed to hide itself into the tiffin basket. Question 5. What does grandfather do to the unwelcomed visitor? Answer. Grandfather hides the unwelcomed visitor, python, in the tiffin basket, shut and pushed it back under the bird so that grandmother will not be able to see him. Question 6. Why was there a commotion in the train? Answer. There was a commotion in the train because the passengers had seen the python curled up in the wash basin of the toilet. Question 7. Why did grandmother scold grandfather? Answer. Grandmother scolded grandfather because he had bought the python along with them on the journey when she asked him not to. Question 8. What happened when Aunt Mabel opened the lid of the basket? Answer. When Aunt Mabel opened the lid of the basket, she saw the huge python and she fainted away. Think and answer the questions. Question 1. Do you think the animals enjoyed their journey? Give reason for your answer. Answer. Yes, I think animals enjoyed their train journey because Timothy the tiger had an entire birth of his own. For chips, the train was a squirrel's paradise because passengers had bought roasted peanuts. Popeye started noting Lulled to sleep by the sound of train's wheel and puffing. Python had eaten the family's dinner. Question 2. Pick out a few humorous incidents from the story. Answer. Popeye had nipped two fingers and tweaked a ticket inspector's ear. Chips presented narrator with a peanut. Popeye broke into shrieks of loud and wild laughter. And soon, everyone, including Aunt Mabel, was doubled up with laughter. Question 3. The author attributes human qualities to the animals in the story. Pick out a few examples of these. What does this show about the author's feelings for animals? Answer. Examples are, Timothy behaved perfectly throughout the journey. Chips had no difficulty in making friends with children and grown-ups, etc. This shows that the author is a pet lover and he considers them as his family member. Question 4. Write a character sketch of Aunt Mabel. Answer. 
Aunt Mabel was a school teacher in Lucknow. She was terrified of all reptiles, particularly snakes, and she is a lover of good food. Grammar section exercise A. Fill in the blanks with the correct pronouns. Pronouns. Pronouns are the words which are used in place of noun. Question one. Where is the key? I can't find dash. Answer is it. I can't find it. Second, I cut dash on the broken glass. Answer is myself. I cut myself on the broken glass. Third, your dress is very similar to dash. Answer is mine. Your dress is very similar to mine. Fourth, Nana loves to run. Dash runs daily. Answer is she. She runs daily. Five. My uncle is coming to visit Dash the winter. Answer is us. My uncle is coming to visit us this winter. Six. Grandfather was on Dash feet in a moment. Answer is his. Grandfather was on his feet in a moment. Seven. I am going to get Dash haircut. This weekend, answer is my. I am going to get my hair cut this weekend. Eight. Rohan, could you please pass me dash spectacles? This my. Rohan, could you please pass me my spectacles? Nine. Would you like to join dash for the walk on the beach? Answer is us. Would you like to join us for the walk on the beach? Ten. She makes dash a cup of coffee before sitting down to watch her favorite show on the television. Answer is herself. She makes herself a cup of coffee before sitting down to watch her favorite show on the television. Exercise B. Fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verb in the bracket. Word. All doing words are called verb. One. Sumed. Dash regularly. Answer is swim. Sumed swim regularly. Second, a lone bee dash over the rose. Answer is buzzes. A lone bee buzzes over the rose. Third, she dash to the library every weekend. She goes to the library every weekend. Fourth, I plan to visit. All major dash in Goa. Answer is beaches. I plan to visit all the major beaches in Goa. Five, West Bengal's dash slightly sour even when they ripen. Answer is are. West Bengal's are slightly sour even when they ripen. Six, the dirt road dash off into the forest from the lake. Answer is branches. The dirt road branches off into the forest from the lake. Seven. Our dog dash around in the pool during the summer. Answer is splashes. Our dog splashes all around in the pool during the summer. Eight. The mother dash the baby every night before putting her to bed. Answer is Kisses. The mother kisses the baby every night before putting her to the bed. Nine. Man dash the forests, which are the habitats of many animals. Answer is deploys. Man deploys the forests, which are the habitats of many animals. Ten. He dash daily and dash hard to win the competition. Answer is boxes and practices. He boxes daily and practices hard to win the competition. Exercise C. Identify if the underlined verbs are in the simple present, present continuous, or present perfect form. One. Is the sun hot? Is. Answer is simple present. Second. It had rained all day. Had rained. Answer is 
present perfect third it rains in june and september rains answer this simple present four they have traveled to many countries have traveled present perfect five i am reading this book since yesterday i am reading answer this present continuous six the man is trying to establish a business is trying answer this present continuous seven she has practiced regularly for the match has practiced answer this present perfect eight the girls have dressed their dolls up beautifully have dressed answer this present perfect nine we are baking cake for our granny's 16th birthday are baking answer this present continuous 10 he is cleaning the house for tonight's party is cleaning answer this present continuous word meanings all aboard a warning call made to passengers of a bus ship or train when ready for departure prudent sensible and careful in avoiding risks cautious nipped bit sharply tweaked pulled or twisted sharply with a sudden movement emerged came out scudding moving hurriedly with quick short steps tiffin basket a picnic basket with a lid used for carrying light meal or snack on a long journeys contentedly happily expressing satisfaction remains here leftovers what is left after part has been used snuggle settle into a warm and comfortable position distinctive special feature or quality that makes something easy to recognize presumably very likely for days short with visit with a purpose intent intention or purpose determined to do something clamor a loud noise made by a large group of people shouting or talking together sap hindi word for snake pry up use force to move a part or open something hastily hurriedly smuggled secretly moved in unconvinced not certain if something is true despairingly hopelessly bullet an american car brand tumbled climbed quickly and clumsily quivering trembling or shaking slightly hamper a large basket with a lid used for carrying food in maniacal extremely loud and wild high strickle in a state of uncontrolled excitement anger or panic here our chapter 2 traveling with grandfather sue is completed soon i will upload a video for chapter 3 if you have any doubt you can ask them in the comment section if you like the video then like share comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon thank you for watching this video